previously on Apprentice A. My mom is running a workshop. This is really dangerous, what I'm doing. Bring your butt over here. Hi, gorgeous. Troy Savon is on the radio. You miss me, you miss me. Good morning. We are uh, gonna see if we can make this set a little more compact. And the set itself is fine. But when we film, the camera has to be out in the hallway, which is great, except when the dogs come over. And Corey usually brings the dog when dogs when he comes to film. And then they get really excited and then they bump the camera and uh, all the, like, every shot is just a little bit. Then your jump cuts look awful. Then your jump cuts look ridiculous because people are just jumping around the screen. Um, so Corrado came up with the idea that maybe you just we gotta go to a wider lens. A different lens on there. gotta try stuff. Because right now this is the 28 <clears throat> mil. Yeah, it's the 28. So we have a 21, okay. which is not as nice as the 28 in terms of sharpness. Is it better to have the footage slightly less sharp? And, and, not, and have it not jumping around? <laughs> I think the answer Possibly. is Possibly. Yes. <clears throat> so we're going to see what we can do. Let's see what we got here. So we've Why got do they have just little stickers on them? Whoever was filming at Buffer Oh, stickers on top. So they know we used what to have the stickers sizes on were. Here, yeah, we did. But then sometimes you know you can swap them and it's confusing. Yeah. I mean, they really only fit in one. We've yeah. got a 21, 28, 35, 50, 85. It's upside down and 100. So let's try the 21. Okay. This here um, is the 28 mil, and it looks like that, which is what we've been filming. Yeah. At, right? So every time we film. The camera is if the camera out get bumped, gets in bumped, the hallway. Then your shot gets ruined. Yeah. Um, so let's try 21. Always change lenses with your camera off, especially when you have lenses that are electronic, <laughs> like these lenses. They have a small chance of getting fried. So now we swap this the lens. The 21. And now this is the super shot. wide. That's showing all these stupid walls. Yeah. We don't want any of that. And it's showing this. Yeah. No good. <laughs> no. Nope. So now we can move the camera closer. And hopefully it doesn't look as bad. You the don't want the camera, camera on top of is, your face. Yeah, you don't want your camera on top of the face because it will distort. We don't want to see the corners, right? Yeah, no. Now we see the outlet. <laughs> oh no! The whole shot changes. The whole shot changes. So you gotta and that's fix camera. everything. And now we have this shot. That looks better. Which is basically the same. It's basically the same, except um, people are gonna look slightly farther away. Do I still look fine? Do I look distorted? I think that's okay. Okay. Because if it, when you get closer to the lens, especially a wide angle Yeah, but lens, you're not going to do no, that. Know, but that's the difference between a wide angle lens. Oh, I never really got to see this lens really close up. <laughs> Do you want to sit? Yeah, you can you can watch me and see if it's actually distorted, which I'm sure you'll be like, oh, and there's all these things. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. You're far enough away. Okay, okay. Excuse me. Pardon me. This is how to get in to this nonsense. It's not efficient. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> okay. All right. We're doing. We're good. We're doing it. No, that looks good. Let's see. Put your camera down. You're not as bright. That's an easy fix. This is my view. Well, I guess this is technically my view. Yeah, beside my head. This is what I see. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't judge me. So we're sitting here just like, oh, this is perfect. This looks great. This will totally work. And then we realized that Corey is too tall. Corey's oh, pretty tall. With the other lens, the way it was set up. Corey's head touches the top of the frame, and everybody else has like just a tiny little bit too much headroom to be proper. But I can't move the camera up and down because then the scene, this shot's definitely gonna change. And now this shot with this new lens is like perfect. I think it'll be fine it's with great, Corey in here. But Corey might be too tall. We'll have to see. So we're gonna have to wait and see how how it looks with Corey in here. Can you do? Shrink him. <laughs> Shrink a Ray. Chair, but we don't have a, a shorter chair. We don't have chair. a shorter chair. No. So that doesn't work either. No oh, way. Well. Your arms look very good right now. It's because I work out Congratulations, every day. liar. <laughs> I'm not a liar. I'm an actor, Sassy. Oh, yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Filippo's using me as a shield. 
It's not working out very well. The Prado here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Attack. Hi, 3PO. Hi, Chip. <laughs> You're nuts. There you go. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll put this down. Mm, thank you. Thanks for thoroughly cleaning my nostrils. That was great. He's been like whining for my attention while I'm trying to work and he just wants to be on top of me apparently. He loves you. He loves me. Ooh, fancy. Soup, hooray. It's not <clears throat> soup. I was quoting. Oh, okay. okay. Oh. I don't know what that is. So this Look is at my mustache. One. It's very nice. Thanks. <laughs> this is a uh, pulled pork chicken. Oh. Pulled pork chicken. There's only it's one piece left, so you're just gonna have to kind of pull from it. That's a tomato. Mmm. Mm. I love tomatoes. It's good. And then we have pasta. Mm. But it just pasta. pulls right off. Oh, it pulls right off the bone. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. We did it. We survived another winter. It's now spring. Woo! We did it. I feel accomplished. Hope you feel accomplished too. <laughs> it's not easy. Even if you live in a warm climate, it's still different. You still have a winter of sorts. Of sorts. Of sorts. Our winter is probably, well, it's definitely mild compared to Russia. And I'm sure... <coughs> Or, you, you know, compared to last year. Or, or last before. year. But it's relative. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, people in Texas, they have a winter. To us, it's like spring. <laughs> to them, it's like the end of the world. But it's mm -hmm. all relative. If we went to Russia, I'm sure I would be just not leaving the house at all. <laughs> because it's too way too cold there. So now that means I don't have to wear sweaters anymore. Yeah, That's absolutely. It. Take away all the sweaters. That's it. Definitely my... Sister mentioned the other day that her birthday last year had snow. Her birthday's March 27th. We didn't really have snow. So March 27th, it snowed. Knock on wood or knock on the camera. We didn't really have too much snow. There was like one day where it was a little snowy and that was it. Maybe, I don't know. I would say there's like, there was like four days of snow. <coughs> this year? This this, this winter, there was there like was more than four days of snow this winter. You just don't go outside. Mm, I mean, like you would look out the window, and go, "Oh, it snowed today," and that that's your interaction. But most of the winter, you lived in the basement. I mean, it's okay if there's a there's a little bit of snow. I mean, like if there's like a substantial amount of snow, something where it's like, oh. The snow is inconvenient. Oh. An inconvenient amount of snow, not a not a regular amount of snow. Oh. There's only right. like the regular amount of snow definitely doesn't count at all because that's not real snow. No, it's not inconvenient. There could be snow on the ground and it can be fine. I mean, when it's like there's like snow, there's like look at all this snow as opposed to just oh there's snow. Okay. It's like a you know, mm -hmm. it makes sense. Okay. Just agree and nod yeah. and smile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, great. Mm -hmm. Perfect, thank mm -hmm. you. You're so yeah. kind to me. <laughs> Home is where the fog is.